Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Daxton, also known as... Well, actually, I'm not known as anything else but Daxton. From Spider Face Productions. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be another tutorial. I know I've done one of these before, but... Here, I'm just going to fix this for you. You guys. There you go. So, basically, <clears throat> if you look at my mouse here... Here, I'll put in better lighting on the Deadpool thing. Uh... You see my mouse icon is very different and you guys are probably wondering how can I get that and where do I get that and in this video that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So it's actually really simple. <clears throat> All you have to do is open up your browser. You can use anything you want. Well, All I know is it works on Opera, Mozilla, and Google. We're going to be using it on Mozilla. <clears throat> so all you have to do is type in real world graphics. And as you see, it'll be the top one, um, so just click on that. And then you'll have this software homepage thing, and all you have to do is click on the gallery link. And <clears throat> there will be a mother load of different mouse icons. You, can, you got Minecraft, <clears throat> oh my god, sorry, my voice is going away and I don't like it. So you can have like these kind of things, there's some Minecraft stuff. I use this kind, um, that I thought it was pretty interesting. Um... There's quite a few different ones, um, but yeah, let's just download, I don't know, let's use this one, this one, it seems pretty cool, and it should give you, yeah, as you can see, it gives you a bunch of different, different things, um, so yeah, there's quite a few, there's even moving ones, as you can see, if you guys want those, I'm not gonna be, I'm not super flashy, so I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple, so I'm gonna use the normal cursor. And then after that, you're gonna hit download. And then, yeah, save file. Make sure it's on save file. And then make sure it's in downloads. You can download anywhere you want. I'm just gonna put it in downloads because that's the most simple one. You're gonna hit save. And then after that, you can now get rid of this. You can now, oh wait. You're now going to downloads. Oh no, there you go. Click on that and open, and then go down to open file through Windows. Hit OK, and then yeah, and then if you hit go down here to hit your Windows button, the Windows Home button. You're gonna go into Settings, uh, Devices, and then if you go to Mouse and Touchpad, you can hit this one. Additional Mouse options. You can then <clears throat> go to uh, like in your settings, browsing, stuff like that. Go back into your uh, go back into your, where your selective thing is, like that, like where you downloaded it to. I think you see here it has like some classic ones, but I'm assuming you guys don't really want to use that do you and sorry if my mic was in my freaking webcam this entire time um then you yeah you could just apply it and it will be there so yeah, i'm gonna get rid of that because i don't really want that one um yeah so now the next thing is how to make your thing your home button or not your home page cleaner is to get something called fences oh my god and to do that then again open your browser uh, type in windows 10 fences And then, see, it'll give you this. <clears throat> There's, like, trials and stuff. You could actually just find cracks for them. It's pretty easy, but if you just want to... I'm not going to show you how to do that, because that's technically illegal. Uh, but, yeah, you're just going to go here and then get it. Now, there's even, like, a super weird edition that's, like, super organized. I just got the regular one. You can get the free trial to see how you like it. And it basically, once you download it, it'll give you a whole bunch of these. And you get to, a whole bunch of these you get to create how many you want 
and then you get to name them what you want, color them even what you want. Um, I put mine red because my theme is black and red. And, yeah. So that's pretty cool, just to organize everything. The next one is you're going to need a pretty clean wallpaper. Um, I have a Deadpool one, but, you know, that's just for my theme, really, and I like Deadpool. So that's just for me, basically, but you're going to want a uh, pretty cool wallpaper. I suggest a site called faceits.com. Um, it's a really cool site. Come and see what. I don't agree. Google. I, I just typed it. Good. Technical difficulties. Face it. And then you're going to click the face it wallpapers and you'll have a mother load of wallpapers and as you can see there are uh, I, I don't know how many pages but all as I know is there's many pages it doesn't really say how many pages there are um, but yeah all I can tell you is well oops. all I can tell you there's a mother load of wallpapers and stuff like that so um, I'm pretty sure I like, which one should, whoa, 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 something froze, it's okay, you're gonna go to, you can either, if some people have settings set to this, where you can just right click and you can set as desktop background, and it will actually automatically set it to the resolution and everything automatically, um, so let's say if I just do that, I can either put it in center, or if I do that, I can actually even, yeah, put fill, stuff like that. And then, yes, if I exit out, we have this really cool wallpaper. And it actually even sets my Windows taskbar to purple. Um, if you can't do that, then another solution to that is, let's use, let's use this one for an example. This looks like a pretty clean wallpaper. All you're gonna have to do is download wallpaper. You're gonna right click, save image as, and then you're gonna want it to go in downloads. Save that. You can now close this. Go back to your home. Go to settings and go to personalization. I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, and it will go. It'll be in your wallpapers and you can go to downloads and that's the one I downloaded and then now it is this one and if I exit out it's now there um so yeah and then afterwards after everything is finished you'll have an insane looking visual desktop and it'll look amazing you got the clean cool looking mouse with a nice wallpaper and you will have your fences so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it was kind of useful in somewhat way. Um, also, I'll be doing some more Rust pretty soon. Um, if you guys have any game recommendations that you want me to play, I'll be sure to do it and play it. Also, Goat Simulator will be coming back very shortly and we're going to have a new member to the Spawn Face Productions. Uh, he'll be coming very soon. Actually, I think we're having two new members, so that should be interesting. Um... So yeah, like I said, hopefully this video was pretty useful. Let me guys know if you want me to do more tutorials like this and how-tos. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up to support the channel. If you haven't already, please cons uh, consider subscribing. Become part of the Smiley Face Productions Army! And also see you guys in the next one. Peace out.